Hi, Candace. Hi, Heather. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Doing well, thanks. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Of course. Thanks for having me. I'm so happy to be here. Oh, thank you. You know, with this week being Simplify Your, your Life Week, can you share with us your top five nutrition tips? Sure. You know, it really is important to keep nutrition simple. And, you know, my advice is really to find ways to live your life and not your diet. As a nutritionist, I've worked with so many different types of clients, and they're all looking for the same thing. How do I live a healthy lifestyle that I can actually stick to? So today I really wanted to give you some tips that will really help you learn how to simplify your nutrition. And I figure why not get started with breakfast since that's a meal that a lot of people either skip or they make the wrong choice because they say they don't have enough time. And I think if you have a good healthy choices at your fingertips, it's easy to make the right choice. So one recommendation would be to start with Greek yogurt. You could take a low fat 0-2% Greek yogurt, add some high fiber cereal to it, and then put some berries in it, and that's a great breakfast that'll get you started off on a much better note than if you end up eating a bagel, for example, at breakfast. Um, you know, you could also opt for even just two hard-boiled eggs for breakfast. That's another great choice with just a piece of fruit. Again, you get that protein in, which really keeps you full till lunch, and it'll just get you jump-started for a really good day. Um, when it comes to lunch, one of my suggestions is to brown bag it because I think a lot of us eat lunch at work anyway. And people say, I don't have time to, to, to pack my lunch up. But they, but they still go out for lunch and bring it back to their desk. So I would say, pack it. It takes three minutes. You could take light wheat bread, some organic turkey, lettuce, tomato, mustard. The whole thing with some, with some veggies and a piece of fruit is almost under 300 calories, which is really amazing for lunch. Um, breakfast and lunch, if you look at those two meals, those, those are the two meals we can control. Dinner gets a little more challenging, which I'll, t which I'll talk about in a minute, but the afternoon snack is definitely an area where people really kind of get caught up in a lot of, un you know, white processed refined carbs because if you don't have the right snack at your fingertips it can be really tough. It's one of the reasons why I partner with Abbott because they have this great new snack which is the perfectly simple bar. I love the toasted coconut. It's delicious but it also comes in peanut crunch and cranberry almond. But this bar is great because it only has six to ten ingredients which is really amazing for a bar and it has 10 grams of protein and it has and it's gluten free which is a really nice bonus for a lot of people. Um, so this is a great option if you're looking for that sweet thing in the afternoon but you still want to be healthy. And if you're not into the bar thing I would say do the Greek yogurt that I mentioned earlier with a piece of fruit or even have a string cheese with a piece of fruit. You can get an organic brand because that's a great way to keep yourself full till dinner. Now when it comes to dinner it really depends on what your lifestyle is like but if you're at home the biggest key to success with dinner is having the staples there. You know, if you have some frozen chicken breast in your freezer, take it out in the morning so that it defrosts during the day. That way when you get home, all you have to do is take that chicken, dip it in some egg, dip it in some whole wheat breadcrumbs, and you can literally bake it in the oven at 425 for 20 minutes in a Pyrex dish, and you get the perfect breaded chicken cutlet, which you could use over and over again. You can use it one night with some arugula and tomatoes and make chicken milanese with some balsamic vinegar. The next night you can take some healthy marinara and low-fat cheese and make healthy chicken parm. Um, you could even use that chicken cutlet the next day and put it in some lettuce and make a great salad for yourself. So those are just a couple great tips you know, to, to keep you healthy in National Simplify, Simplify Week. And what would you say are the most common uh, nutrition mistakes that people make? I definitely think it's the mindless eating and snacking in the afternoon. I think that people don't have the right snack at their fingertips, so they end up at the vending machine with the pretzels and the chips and the candy, and that just leads you to more bad choices. So having a snack like the Perfectly Simple Bar is a great option instead of that. And do you have any advice for those who are picky eaters or who have food allergies? Should they be taking a supplement? So should they be taking a supplement? Uh -huh. I mean, I, I, I kind of believe that you get everything that you need through food. Um, and supplements are really for people who have deficiencies. For example, if you're lactose intolerant and you know don't eat dairy, then you may need a calcium supplement. If you're someone who has that sort of deficiency, like even iron deficiency, then you may need a supplement or a vitamin D deficiency. But that's something that you can really talk to with your doctor. Um, if you eat a healthy, balanced diet, then you know you should really be getting what you need nutritionally. And are there certain fruits and veggies that are high on the glycemic index that we should stay away from? I mean, to me, if you stick to fresh fruits and veggies, what I'd be avoiding is the juice, and I'd be avoiding um, all dried fruit because those have half the sugar at least, and none, and they don't have the fiber in there. So, 
um, sorry, Candace, we got to go because I have another interview. So they're telling me that we have to wrap it up. Okay, and do you have any additional tips or information you'd like to share? Um, I think I got to a bunch, but for more information, you can also go to zoneperfect.com, or you can also check out my website, and I have a big blog there, which is nu-train.com, or you can get my book, which is um, Bread is the Devil. Okay, thank you, Heather. Have a great afternoon. Thank you. Okay.